Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a great day today. Guess what I'm gonna paint? <laughs> I like animals, I love birds. I'm gonna paint a female cardinal and look at that pose. Isn't that really fun? I'm gonna paint it on a five by seven inch uh, cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've already got two coats of clear gesso on it. And I'm gonna use the photo that I printed out to scale as a traceable. Okay, let's have some fun. like I don't know how it's gonna look on video but I really like what I got so how did I get it I decided to give myself some room a lot of times I just use one palette um, in the past in some of my other videos I would use a background palette especially for bigger paintings so I just gave myself some room and I started with a lot of white just a pinch oh here let's do my do the colors so titanium white they're all gonna be liquid text and they're all basics this time so titanium white cad yellow medium hue mars black quinacridone magenta and thalo blue so a lot of white a little yellow just a little just really slow i might have even it's time lapse but i spent more time mixing this one um, just a little bit of thalo blue and some black just to mute it down and i got Oh, kind of a green-gray putty color. Let's go here first. Then I pulled some of it out, a little more yellow, a little more, or some magenta, some black, and kind of got like a, gosh, how would you describe that? Sometimes when I bring it closer to my phone, it tries to color correct too. And the magenta, when I look through my phone, doesn't look nearly as pink. It's kind of a sagey, light sage color, maybe you'd call it. It's warmer. On here, I think it even starts to look kind of brown. But I'm also getting the color of the wood panel coming through that warms it up, which I like. I like that. And then I just used a uh, three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's, I'm using it so much I'm, I rubbed it off. And, and some water and then just spread color sometimes it wanted to dry on me so then i'd come back actually i think i see a thin spot and i came back and i just you know put some more color over it if something like that happens just bring it over to the side so it looks like it's on purpose when i painted the sides i'll bring the color over to the front sometimes too just to help unify the sides i'm seeing some thin spots i don't know if that really matters it's just the wood showing through and swirled and played, added just the teeniest bit of blue to get this to be a little bluer. Oh, actually that's bluer too. Just played with it, little bits of yellow. I'll uh, link in this video's description how to paint a background. I do it a little more simply, I think, when I did it live. It's step by step, that might help you. If it dries, just let it dry. You can come back with more layers. All right, I'm going to set this aside and let this set a bit, have some dinner, and then I'll be back.
Hey friends, so I put out my colors again, quinacridone magenta, phthalo blue, cad yellow medium hue, titanium white and Mars black, and I gave myself some more room. I also put out quite a bit of paint, maybe, for this bird. I'm not gonna need that much paint, but my puddles will stay fresher longer. I've got fans going, it's really hot outside as I'm videoing this, so that's one reason why I put out fairly big blobs of paint and I mixed a lot of brown that I really don't need I don't know I might need it I might use it in the shadow of the bird and then I mix kind of a olive olive green nah. <laughs> I have a hard time coming up with color names a muted green we'll call it that I put in the feet are just real loose so I don't lose them I used white chalk pastel even though it doesn't show up as well <coughs> excuse me I used white chalk pastel even though it doesn't show up as well on video because I, I'm working on a bicycle uh, painting as well. We're going to work on it live tonight. And the black was just fighting me on a white canvas, making a mess. So I decided I just drew the bottom of the tail on there. So I decided they would go with white because it'll be easier to clean up, especially on this light background. But it is harder to see. I think the branch is pretty good. Kind of keeping it green like the reference photo. Put a few layers on it just till I think I'm happy with what it looks like. Put it, did a little palette knife. Scooped a little color up with a palette knife to get some fun texture. Really nice texture right here. I painted out some of that texture, but I was trying to lighten up. I realized my branch was pretty dark, so I tried to lighten up to make the shadow a little stronger. All right, I think we'll work on the eye, and then I'm going to have to quit pretty soon so I can do the live and hang out with you guys. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, this is a couple days later. So what I'm doing is just kind of working, oh, on shapes. Let's see, where do I want to start? I just get some, I got some red in on the wing. It actually could have a little more red, it looks like. Um, painted the beak. The eye is in pretty good shape. I use this little round brush from US Art Supply. It says two over zero, so it's a number two. And I'm using this 3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Lanical. It came in a pack. I don't know, probably four or five brushes. All right, let's do a little. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm telling myself there's some color here. I put some white in my red that I mixed just so that it'll cover the green background because red and green are complements, so it'll gray out the color. But sometimes that's kind of nice. You want the color to gray out. Okay, stop moving it around so much. So the eye's in pretty good shape. It needs a highlight. Maybe a little more detail around the mask. I'm just kind of building things up. There's the wing. I need to put the nails on the feet. And then it goes around to the bottom. So what's really kind of neat is this brush, if you don't load it up too much, I could get some nice feathery and directional strokes and then even do, I could do it this way, a calligraphy stroke as just a C shape. So that's kind of fun. I think that gets us up to speed. I'm just bringing things up. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do the body Let's see what happens if I paint a little yellow. I think it's gonna be, well, it might not be too yellow. Let's just see what it looks like. 
Yeah, it's too yellow. I need to mix a color. So I'm going to mix kind of a brownie yellow and then start putting in some of the body. But I'm hoping that this will pop and then the rest will be sort of partial shadow and then quite a bit of shadow. Okay, hopefully those comments help. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, this could be done, but I'm not happy with it yet. I turned, here, I'm gonna turn on this light. I turned off my light. I don't know. I don't know if that makes it better or worse, as far as the colors you guys see. I don't know if it matters. Um, I think this is done. I think the eye is done. I think I want to do white again. And then maybe go more beige rather than I've got kind of a yellow brown going. Oh, this is the next day. So I've been using, that's, I just put a little brown in, in some cad yellow, this brown, and made those two colors. I don't know, I don't dislike it. I've got a cool background and a warm bird, which I was planning on, but I just don't know what I think. You guys can let me know in the comments. Um, the nice thing is it it um, kind of stretches. Oh, stretches! I don't know. I don't know how to word this, but like you play with different colors and you learn a lot. So I guess maybe stretches works. I'm looking for my reference photo because I didn't have it pulled up. Yeah, I think what I like. I don't know. I mean, this is a cool background. Here, I'm gonna open it. Oh, it didn't make any difference. It's a cool background with a warm bird. Maybe there's just too much similarity. I don't know. I like the photo a little better. Maybe I just need to go darker too. Or lighter. <laughs> um, I don't think any of those comments are helpful. I've been using this little round brush, which I think I've already mentioned. It's from US Art Supply. And then this is a, a new brush from Royal and Langnickel. I think I've already mentioned this one. It's a 3 8 inch. Yeah, I did because I talked about the calligraphy. Okay, guys, let's just do a quick little like screenshot. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I have too much yellow in the branch. I'm just gonna play with it some more and see if I can make it a little bit better. I, I, I usually like layers. Of course, that'll, I don't know, that might tighten it up. You can tell I'm just really thinking about it. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm calling it done. I just, I laugh because I, I just, uh, I, I think it's better, but I need to, I need to now go back and look at the previous video. So I put some beige here, some more white and some more beige. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I think it was getting a little too glowy. So I like that better. I put more red on this foot because I've got like red. This is really strong and it kind of leads you out. So I put some red there, uh, actually magenta there, and I put some orange on the beak, which I don't see in the reference photo, but I think that helps keep you, you look at the face anyway with the eye, but I, I think that helps keep you in the painting more. You guys let me know what you think. I just love connecting with you. I 
I know. When I'm looking at it through my phone, I'm like, I don't know that I made it any better. I do like that it's looser. At one point, I kind of darkened the shadow, and then I kind of softened it. Just playing with it. I love the expression on this cardinal. It's really fun. I know the orange helps bring you up towards the face again, and so does the white. Little bits of white. It was fun. I usually paint my branches brown. This one's kind of greenish, so that was fun. Okay, let me know what you think. I can't thank you all enough for your support. It just means the world to me. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.